So in, um, in Fauna Forever, which uh, is a research project here and an organization that's been in Peru for, well, since 1997, the last sort of 13, 14 years, um, we are interested in doing research on biodiversity here in Tabapata, um, also trying to work on conservation initiatives, working closely with, with a number of other organizations and um, private enterprise here. And one of the things that we're, we're really keen on doing is helping the um, the, the local um, entrepreneurs and local businesses have, that have been setting up um, sort of tourism enterprises here in, in Tamalpata. Um, we bring uh, researchers and volunteers from across the world to help us with the projects that we do. And we're located just outside Puerto Maldonado. Um, we frequently use the services of, of Ecualdea Capievi, which is um, again at, at the very start here of the Tamalpata um, corridor and we also use the services um, over at Villa Hermosa which is a great place to eat, great place for us to relax and use the swimming pool um, and something that all of our volunteers really enjoy is going over to help Magali um, at Amazon Shelter. Um, again she's a wonderful woman, she's been working uh, well, for the last sort of five or six years on, on setting up and actually establishing a, a rescue center for, for wild animals. So she takes some um, and wild animals that have been confiscated by the ecological police or that have been brought to her from, from Lima or other, other cities, from zoos that you know have to reintroduce their animals to the wild or need a better place for their animals to, to live. And it's like part of the itinerary now of, of the work that we do. And another idea that, um, that we've been working with is trying to set up more, more close links with, with other um, local homestay businesses here. So one that we've been setting up for a, for a few years now is is the El Gato um, homestay up in the, the Baltimore community on the Tampata River. That's a, a place that we all love to visit now. Um, we love staying with local people because local people are, are the ones who are really going to be conserving uh, the wildlife here in Tampata. And so they're in a process of changing from sort of more agricultural, more extractive activities to sort of conservation and ecotourism. So we're very happy to help them make that that, that transition. Um, and again, Tarapata is, is, is special and the, the tourism corridor here and along the Caratera Tarapata is also special because of the, the greenery, because of the, the amount of wildlife that you can actually see. And it's just a small step from Puerto Maldonado and, and you know, you're in, you're in wildlife heaven. Uh, just down the road here, just you know, two kilometers from where we are, is Kerende, Kerenda Homet, uh, which is another one of the, the local homestays, and they also have a, a private reserve on their land. And we've been uh, visiting them for, for quite a while. It's, it's, it's a great place to visit. They have flowers. Um, Victor Zambrano, his family, are excellent interpreters. They know how to uh, how to explain what's what's on their land, the marvelous animals and the plants that are there, uh, and. Uh, Again, people who are involved in this are also trying to trying to trying to get the sort of uh, the local people more incentivized um, to, to conserve the biodiversity. Uh, and again, any way that we can help, um, we're very happy to, to do that.